two prominent women's rights activists graced the 21st anniversary of the Forum for Women in Democracy forward in Kampala. One of them is the famous Kenyan politician Martha Karua, who contested the presidency in 2013. The other was Uganda's renowned activist, Winnie Bianima. NTV asked the former Mbarab municipality MP whether she would one day consider taking a shot at the presidency. Do it. Absolutely. I have no question in my mind that I have the ability or even the passion to change our country. But politics is a game of teams. It's about a collective. It's not about you propelling yourself and pushing yourself. So if one day there's an opportunity and there is a, a team I believe in that shares my vision that wants me to lead it, I will rise. Winnie Bianima is her own woman and hates being referred to as the wife of the former FDC presidential candidate, Dr. Chiza Besije. She expressed concern about what she called the narrowing political space in the country. Actually here it is very, very scary, let me say, because the democratic space is shrinking first through actions in the law. Laws are being changed to narrow the space. As I've, I told you about the law on uh, public order management, the law on the regulation of NGOs and so on. But also, the space is shrinking through the actions of the administration, particularly the security organs, to such an extent that citizens, journalists and media organizations um, political parties, NGOs are self-censuring in order to exist. Benyuma is Uganda's first female aeronautical engineer who had a reputation of speaking her mind about governance issues when she was a politician. We asked her to comment about the recent attacks in Kasese that left scores dead. But up to now, I cannot see even a group of students marching holding candles and protesting is scary. Everybody is in pain. Everybody I talk to is just so shocked. Kenya's firebrand politician, Martha Karua, says gender mainstreaming is the most effective of promoting equality. She narrated how some countries, including her own, only made strides after the 2007-2008 post-election violence. Our county women representative seats where actually the idea comes from the Ugandan uh, women reserved seats. Mm -hmm. It's only that we did not manage to get the quotas well uh, defined mm -hmm. for parliament, yeah. as you have. Mm -hmm. But I do agree with that analysis. And also point out that the conflict we had, the post-election conflict in yeah. 2007, mm -hmm. is actually what aided mm -hmm. the push for the new constitution mm -hmm. and the gains that we got for women, although we didn't crack it at uh, the National Assembly. And Kenya, on the other hand, has been a stable country. It's been the place where we run when we are being butchered here. But that stability also comes with a price. Because when a system is stable, the people who have that system cherish it and keep it and are conservative about changing it. Bianyman Karua spoke with one voice about the need to speak truth to power in order to help improve the country's democracy and ultimately its future. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.